this time on one foot flipper i look at making sure that that reselling life just doesn't turn into another grind stay tuned hi Paige here the one foot flipper how's it going everybody i'm doing pretty good still running my 20 percent off sale store wide on nearly everything to try to help fund that new prosthetic leg I'm at about $4,000 towards my $8,000 goal to pay for that leg. So that is going right on schedule if I don't run out of if I don't run out of stuff first. Let's hope I don't. All right, I sold a set of 6 nicely painted Skaven gutter runners and or assassins. These are little rat men, $38, 61 cents. Sold a Blades of Steel Nintendo NES cartridge, $2.54. I think this is the last Nintendo cartridge that I owned which is going to be the first time in decades that I have not owned a Nintendo cartridge of any kind. GQ Disco Knights, $5.84. Sold four different lots of comic books. This one is 20 assorted modern era Marvel comics, sold for $11.47, not a viewer sale. And then I sold three lots to a viewer. Buyer's note, hey man, I really enjoy your videos, hope you hit your goal. Please combine shipping on these. Bill. Bill bought a lot of New Warriors. A lot of big lot of Wolverines. And a lot of X-Men. And I'll certainly combine shipping on those for you, Bill. Uh, Non-viewer, as far as I know, bought six packs of Coca-Cola cards. $5.85 plus shipping. Okay, I sold this. Bachman Big Haulers Timber Trussell $15.99. Person on this got a great deal because they got this at the sale price when I sold about 15 of these at the normal price of $20 instead of $15.99. Next one is a viewer sale. Uh, hey Paige, wish I could do more. Your videos and tips have been very helpful for me. Thanks and best of luck with a new leg. Mickey, Mickey Flippins on YouTube. Thanks Mickey. Mickey got himself what did Mickey get? Mickey got a Death Pile Monster original and two sealed VHS Backdraft and Saving Private Ryan. Viewer Catherine got a grumpy metal uh, insulated mug. She also got two Mary Inglebright uh, enamel metal cups. I'm going to put those up on the screen because their SKU location says $12.99, so obviously that's not right. But I saw the things two days ago, so I know they're around here. I'll find them in the morning. Uh, thanks, Catherine. Viewer Edmund just bought a... Classic Death Pile Monster. Thanks, Edmund. Uh, this one uh, goes to a many time repeat buyer, but I do not think they're a viewer. All they ever buy, all they ever buy is records, and they didn't sent me messages and never mentioned my channel. But uh, seven eighty eight for uh, David Crosby. Oh yes, I can on vinyl. Uh, viewer Michael, uh, trading cards and other stuff. Uh, he bought three separate uh, VHS on separate transactions, and he told me to send them together and to keep the extra money. Thank you, Michael. He got the Star Wars Special Edition. Braveheart sealed. And E.T. sealed. Uh, it was about nine bucks for all three of them, but... I'll actually, since he did pay shipping three times and only only needs it once, I'm going to get to keep quite a bit of money from that. So thank you so much. Viewer Susan, under the pink umbrella, bought a lot of 21 assorted crafting magazines that I already had in this bag for $10 plus shipping. Uh, viewer Jolene finds on the dime, says... Believing for you to overcome every obstacle in your way and to receive your new leg debt-free. Many of us out here rooting for you and your family. Well, thank you, Julian. That, that's a wonderful sentiment. Uh, she bought four items. She bought a 
Madam Alexander, Marmy doll. Sorry, a little bit wrapped in plastic, so it's hard to see. Uh, that was a big bag of Burger King and Happy Meal toys. Instead of Pokemon League, Pokemon Magnets, you can only get these as prizes. Prices in game stores, they did not. You couldn't you couldn't buy those at Walmart. And a brand new Pokemon Charizard binder. Uh, she spent a total of about $33.50 on all of that, plus shipping. And of course, I will combine that shipping. All right, that's all for now. So, those of you who resell full time. Or if you have the dream to do so, which I think is a lot of people watching this channel and other channels. I'm thinking you mostly want to do it for the freedom and for the ability to do something exciting that uses your skills and your talents. Am I right about that? I, I think I might be. What you don't want to do is you don't want to turn your skill-based picking and selling dream job instead into a soulless direct grind of time into dollars and that's exactly what can happen when you make certain choices in your reselling career and we'll look at that a little bit later so my wife woke me up and got me up much earlier than normal because of some sort of tornado watch and warning and drug me down to the basement so it's a side effect it is 8 a.m. and I've already done all my morning computer checks and I've already pulled all my overnight orders which is hours before any of this is normally done, let me tell you. I sold this Doors of St. Louis poster, Central West End, $6.78. Sold a big box full of plush, $13.14. I may rebox this though, because it might be, it might be cheaper to send ground. In fact, Priority Mail seems to be dying from me. I sent about 100 orders this week so far and i don't think i sent one of them priority it with me in the middle of the country ground always seems to have the same arrival date and is cheaper so i'm gonna have to relook at my business how i'm doing things priority mail might not be a big part of my business at all going forward let's see we got a death pile monster came with a note hey Paige, i enjoy your channel i've been watching since you started good luck with the new leg thanks rob from strato comics thanks rob I got some Ertl diecast tractors and whatnot. Pulled these out of the Goodwill bins. They sold for eleven dollars and sixty-three cents. Yeah, somehow my last trip to the Goodwill bins, uh, my buddy uh, John Ceramic was up there, and it was hours after they had opened, and he he found me some stuff left and right. He thought he might want one for me, and I was like, "Well, here, I'll just come up there, John. That way, you don't have to start at my house." I went went up there, wheelchaired around, and somehow I still found a bunch of good stuff, and almost all of it sold so far. I had better luck on that trip than I did on half the times when I have to when I'm waiting outside to roll in with everybody else. Sold a ceramic house that I got from the JDF. See, this is below, this is way too cheap. It's below him. He just drops the stuff that, that's below him off at my house and I sell it and he just takes, he takes his cut because it's not worth the JDF's time for the small stuff like it is for me. This sold for $6.98. I'll toss the picture up since it's already in bubble. Flash Dance, $3.82. I had so many copies of this. Somehow between two record collections, there were four copies of this. Death Pile Monster uh, from viewer Ian it says thanks for the entertaining videos. Thank you, Ian. So earlier I was talking about making choices in your reselling career that can just turn it into a grind. One of those choices is uh, to start selling on whatnot. When you were an eBay or a Mercari or whatever it was, seller, you're using your best skills to pick the best items. You are researching prices and selling your items at good prices. I bet you're really enjoying it. You're enjoying finding those real bolos and those super high profit items and you get that rush of dopamine when that $300 rare fuggler finally sold after being on eBay for two months. That was awesome, wasn't it? However, that's not whatnot. To even get started on whatnot, 
You've either got to have an existing social media follow following, which you will slowly begin to wreck, more on that later, or you're going to need to burn up a lot of time and thousands of dollars in inventory sold on a loss just to build a following. So say you do that. Now you're a successful whatnot seller. So now you're a successful whatnot seller. Great. Most of the fun of picking goes out the window when you're buying whatnot items. Instead of hunting and researching and checking comps, you're just buying whatever garbage, plush, or toys, whatever your whatnot specialty is that passes in front of your face. There's no point in looking for good items anymore. The hunt is ruined. And you might actually end up spending even more time packing, enlisting, and running live auctions than you did previously in order to make the same money on the low dollar sales that you're getting. Uh, and you can even double down or triple down on this labor problem if you have multiple people involved in the auction process. I've seen whatnot auctions where there are three, four people there involved in it and selling $60 an hour worth of merchandise. It doesn't make sense. Now, if you were someone who had to build their following or whatnot, at least the prices are actually going to get better over time. However, if instead you drag your YouTube or social media followers over to whatnot, then you're probably going to find out that the exact opposite will happen. You know what? People are going to be thrilled to buy something from G the JDF, you know, Jimmy the Dolphin Flipper, that first time. But the thrill is going to go down as time goes on, and less and less people are going to show up to his whatnots. And if your social media itself starts drifting into whatnot territory, then more and more of your viewers are likely to tune out and go watch someone else. Not nearly as many people have any desire to be a whatnot seller as they do an eBay seller. A lot of people don't have the personality. They don't want to be seen on camera. They don't want any part of any of that. Now, I'm not going to call it any specific names here, but I have seen some massive long-term drops in views from many channels after they transition their main selling from eBay to whatnot. I do want to note here that ADH Dave seems to be completely immune to this effect. It's not he he has transitioned a lot of things to whatnot and it's not hurting his views whatsoever. I think that's because people who watch Dave are watching him because they really like Dave. And that's why his eBay fans also watch his theme park channel and so on. I don't think, you know, a Philly Flipper suddenly started an auto repair channel, I don't think he would bring 80% of his fans with him like Dave has managed to do when he moves on to other things. And no offense, Philly Flipper, you're awesome. If he did start an auto repair channel, I'd watch it. All right, I sold this uh, Daphne's Yellow Lab head cover for $10.90 plus shipping. Deep Purple, Purple Passages album, $3.34. It's a double album too, so it's going to cost an extra price to ship. This one is a viewer sale. Uh, buyer's note, we wanted to support you with your new prosthetic. Thanks for your videos, Will and Cinnamon, Curious Collection on YouTube, eBay, and whatnot. Well, thank you, Will and Cinnamon. Let's give this thing a, this thing's pretty cool. Let's sort of show this off. You can hang this from the wall or the ceiling. It's got little, little hooks here. These normally went to Pokemon stores for them to hang on the wall. Sometimes they'd give them out as pr tournament prizes once they got too many of them. This one is brand new and never used. Because I've got contacts like that. You could also just turn your reselling into a grind by picking a very grindy specialty, labor-intensive thing based on having very large numbers of very low dollar sales. Could be because you're specializing in something like cards, media, video games, or postcards that are individually very low profit per item or and of course there are bolos in all those areas you know there are but at the same time you go look at that person's 10,000 item store in one of those areas and most of it's going to be extremely low profit items or it could be that you're buying new products from distributors and you have very low margins because you have competition that has priced you down to extremely low margins and at some point that stops being fun Cards stopped being fun for me in the summer of 2023. That's why I stopped listing cards. I did keep the rest of my tabletop gaming specialty, but I don't list cards anymore. Now, it is true that focus specialists might make the most money in reselling, but I think that everything sellers really enjoy things the most. I'm one page and I sold Christopher Cross another page, $3.18 sold two-thirds of a bottle of uh, model train smoke and cleaning fluid for nine dollars and 
two cents. Hey, I guess that's all I've got for today. Thank you for everything you've purchased from anyone who purchased anything from my store. Hey, if I missed your purchase or forgot to shout you out, then let me know and I'll get it in a future video. Thanks, and I hope to see you again soon.